good, y'all? It's Stinger Beats, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Super Trap type beat. Uh, if you're not familiar with Super Trap, it's kind of along the lines of like whole lot of red Playboy Cardi mixed with like Southside, like 808 Mafia type stuff. It's you'll see in a minute. Um, I've been really into it as of recently, so I wanted to show you guys my methods and what I do to make Super Trap type beats. So I've already got the beat made. Uh, I'm just going to be going through, you know, the different steps that I did. So first, let's start with the melody. Um, the prime VST that I like to use is Hive. It has a bunch of really cool, uh, like dark arps and like ambient sounds and like kind of like alien like, which is kind of like what you want to go for for Super Trap. Um, I used Hive for all of these melodies, but if you don't have Hive, you can use Serum. Uh, if you don't have Serum, you can just use like any synth one shot kits that you can find. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty basic stuff, but you know, it's just like integrated in a way that it sounds cool. So the first thing that we have here is an ARP. Uh, if you can see right here, I play around with these little like half step notes in the scale. Uh, it kind of just makes it sound like more evil and dark. So this is what it sounds like. It's a great foundation for what we want to get started. Super simple, super dark. The next thing that I have in here is kind of like a ambient, like tonal white noise type of thing from Hive. This is what it sounds like. For these types of beats, you kind of want to keep it stupid simple. The main attraction isn't really the melody, it's more the drums. So uh, let's hop into the next part of the melody which is like another kind of ambient white noise sound. This is what it sounds like. That's just following the bass notes. Um, you know, it kind of goes along that same line of like glitchy and, you know, ambient, whatnot, whatever. Uh, here we have a second ARP that's going like towards the end. Uh, I have it layered so that it sounds better. So this is what it sounds like. It's kind of dark, you know, basic stuff. All right, next, this is the main attraction of the melody, this lead right here. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Yet again, playing around with these like half step tension notes. Um, for mixing on that, I threw on gross beat, like the little like downward effect. The, the like the preset is basic 10, but with basic 10, it like starts like right here. Uh, so I just kind of dragged it to the end. And then for the last thing of the melody is this bass. Super simple. This is why I love Hive, it has a bunch of like super gritty, distorted, glitchy sounds. So all together, uh, this is what the melody sounds like. Just super dark, super evil. So um, now that we got the melody out of the way, let's hop into the drums. The first thing that I'm gonna cover is the 808s. Um, this is kind of a less complicated super trap type beat. Usually they're a lot more all over the place. Um, for this one, I kind of wanted to keep it rappable. <laughs> so uh, this is the 808. It's pretty basic. So uh, all the effects that I have on it is a limiter and then a fast distortion. I believe it's on like the B panel. Let's see, yeah. Okay, so let's go over this 808. Um, I have a bunch of like double notes on the end of the beats, which is like where like the clap or snare hits, and that adds to the bounce. But right here is kind of what I want to go over. So this is what it sounds like right here. What I did right here is I hinted at kind of like some high notes, uh, but it's very faint. And then um, introduce some more high notes later. It kind of adds just a bit of bounce. Uh, that's what I've liked, or that's what I've been doing with like some of my recent beats. So there's the 808s. Um, this is the Tri-Freeze 808. 
If you guys don't know who Trifreeze is, he's like an amazing YouTube tutorial guy right now. Uh, it's like a free drum kit of his and it has sounds that I use in like basically every single one of my beats. Uh, the rest of the drums are pretty simple. For super trap type beats, you want the hi-hats to be like all over the place. Like, there you go. Lots of like those ones, like low notes. But yet again, I wanted to kind of keep this one rappable. I'll probably do like an authentic super trap tutorial later on. But this is what the hi-hats sound like. They're still a little bit complicated. And then for uh, the effects on it, I have Deep Blue Glitch, which is like a free version of Effectrix. I use it to do like a little like reverse at the end of each like, I don't know what, four bars. It kind of just adds to the bounce. It doesn't keep it like, like the whole way through. And then I have actual Effectrix, which has um, a stretch, a filter, and then some reverb. Pretty basic stuff, but it kind of is kind of just like ear candy, you know? Um, this is what the drums sound like all together. I didn't go over like the clap or the snare or anything like that because that's pretty basic. And then I also added in the, the filthy like, like that thing, just to, you know, give it some nostalgia to a whole lot of red. Um, one more thing I want to cover before I go into like the arrangement or anything like that is uh, a melody trick that I've been doing a lot recently. So I have all of my melodies except for all of like the components of my melody except for the bass routed to uh, this one mixer track with OTT on it. I have the depth turned down to 50% and it gives it a whole lot more character. So this is like the melody without it. It sounds pretty good, but with OTT, this is what it sounds like. It just gives it a little bit more high end, has it stand out in the mix, and then I have an EQ just to cut out the lows. Basic mixing stuff right there. All right, now let's go over the arrangement. I like to keep these kind of beats super short because usually like the type of rappers that go on these don't like to do more than like one verse or two or whatever. So the intro is pretty cool. I'm gonna probably do a tutorial video on how to do this intro. This is what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, you hear that? So to get that kind of effect um, in my master, I have love filter, which is just to um, a low pass, I think that's what it's called. I'm so bad with like, yeah, a low pass. I'm so bad with like words in um, like music. I can't articulate anything. And then I have a uh, fruity reverb with just these settings. If you want to copy that, they're right there. Literally, that that's the only two things that you need. It keeps it like pretty. I don't know. It sounds like it's coming from like another room or something like that. Like you're in the bathroom at a party. And then I just have an automation clip to fade them both out so it comes out gradually, and then a transition. So like. Everything kind of just comes together. And then right before the drop, I have my tag and a couple of risers, and then I just completely cut out the beat. It kind of adds to the suspense. So this is what it sounds like. It kind of just like, you know, builds it up, builds it up, takes it away and throws it all at you. It's pretty cool. Um, I like took away the melody at first and then, but like it kind of had like a tail at the end. So I just completely just cut out the volume with the automation clip. Other than that, arrangement is pretty simple. There's normal stuff right there. Just take out some parts of the melody, add them back in, basic bridges, whatnot. So that's the end of the tutorial. Um, if you learned something, please consider either liking, subscribing, commenting, doing whatever just to kind of, you know, boost it, get people engaged. You know what I'm saying? Just get it to people out there. Um, I'm, I really like doing these tutorials, so I might start doing them like once a week, once every two weeks. Who knows? We'll see where it goes. Um, yeah, that's about it. See ya.